Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 43 of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I think it's time for us to head for Velweb. And I think to go through there, we gotta go through the snowfield. Up the snowfield, there we go. That's where we need to head for. But hey, a slide may not be bad. Okay, so this is technically the country of Gloriano. It's pretty barren. Like, it's just the entrance to the glacier, and then the snowfield itself. And the sky looks so lavender. I, li I dig it. I swear, when it comes to the third input, it's a little finicky. It's like there's little room for error, but in like the last couple, there's a lot of room for error, which is weird. Oh, hit that one a bit too early, but I did get circle. Nicely done, even though I missed two additions. At least I got Blazing Dynamo to at least level 4 prior to this. So even if I mess up, on the plus side, the damage I get is still good. It's pretty cold, I must say. Can I get that? Yes. Not without fighting, though. We got a battle really early in this place. Oh, here are some new enemies. One of them looks like a robot. He's charging spirit right away. That's not good. Windy Weasel and Bowling. A weird name for a robot. Look at him spaz! It's making me dizzy! That's why I had to kill him first. I hit it early again. I think Meru is at level 4 with uh, Cool Boogie as well. That's why she's gaining a nice lot of SP each time. She's still gotta get to Dragoon level 4. This is ridiculous. I didn't think she'd be taking this long. Also, we got a burnout. Hey, who put you in charge, Lloyd? I have something to tell you before we go to Velweb. It's about Diaz. I see. With this blizzard... It's not a bad time to take a break. I notice how I leave footprints in the snow and Lloyd doesn't. That is weird. Make the world regenerate. Regeneration of the world? Meanwhile, three years ago... That must be Diaz right there. The world now is rotten, like a fallen fruit. It has the same smell as the world ruled by Melbuframa, the wingly dictator. The world, where inertia is considered to be peace, and the easy path leads to devolution. The overture to the destruction has already begun. Devolution? You are saying that the, that is the reason why our magic power is deteriorating? It is not only for you, Winglies. It is the danger all species are facing. Now, how can we regenerate the world? You, Winglies, are merely the 107th species. The Great Will, the Creator Soa, prepared the last. The 108th species. The last species is the last god, 
which will regenerate the world and lead us to Utopia. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares red, the moonchild descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The moon child of this legend is the last species. It is the god that gives holy bliss to the world. That's not true. It is the truth. Then why does the black monster continue to kill the moon child? That devil wants to stop the, de the evolution after imagining himself scorched to death by the blessed light brought by the last species. Lloyd, what is the relationship between the divine moon objects you have been pursuing and the birth of the moon child? The ancient winglies fear their st status as a supreme species would end and sealed up the 108th species. The keys to dissolving the signet are the gem, dagger, and mirror named after the moon. You are going to release the moon child. In other words, the god, using the divine moon objects. If I don't do it, somebody else will. Even the last god cannot escape from the fate determined by Soa. That's all I wanted to tell you. The rest will be told by Diaz. If you desire a utopia, why did you take Shayna away? What is Shayna to you? All the truth be told in Velweb. Dart! The blizzard is over! Um, thanks for letting us know, Meru. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that we actually did rest. Because, you know, in some RPG logic, when you're resting in a cutscene, it doesn't count as a rest. Okay, looks like there's two entries right there. I should go check them out. Okay, there's a bowler one looks like two yetis. Okay, white apes are called. Oh, why did I press circle? It's a fair game for me to kill this guy. I want to get rid of him because look how he moves. He's just out of control. Yeah, you gotta go. That is just crazy. Now for the white apes. <sighs> Should have pissed for a circle there. So both times I got it wrong under different circumstances. What is he holding anyway? It looks like a big pillar of ice. Uh, did Mirror just take 1200 damage from a snowball? She would not last in Mario Party 4. <laughs> like, you know, we're just taking on those uh, blizzards in Mario Party 4. Yoshi got frozen solid, Meru died. Now it's not the DK and Waluigi. <laughs> Ugh, I did press X, but because I was waiting to see if it could go orange, it was too late. Like, sometimes I can nail it with Hashel, sometimes I can't. That's life. I'll probably try to get him sooner to his Ultimate Edition. You know, if that's a proper sentence. Maybe his Ultimate Edition will be a little bit easier to understand. 
there's a sign here. Oh, okay. Oh, land on a chest. Ooh, a magic shield. What does that do? Magic shield, magic shield. It's probably an accessory. Does it block magic altogether? Hmm. I think I passed it. It's not magical ring. Or is it an armor? Or maybe it's only for females. It's weird that I don't see it yet. Actually, let me go to the list. Alright, magic shield, magic shield. Where are we? Oh, it's good. Or is magic shield an item? I'm thinking it's an item. Okay, nullifies magic attacks for three turns. Okay, I, I got you now. And we're gonna have to fall. Ow. That hurt. Hey! It's your fault, Dart! You slept and we all ended up in here! Oh? These are the ancient characters of the Winglies. Let me read it. Winglies. Ouch. Mouse. Oops. It's too hard to read. Can you do better than that? There are some human characters, too. Gigantos, too. I was bad at classics. Can you read some of them, Rose? We find out Rose can't read. The cursed land where the decline of the Winglies began. Nobody is allowed to touch the door. The Judge Nomos of the Court of Xenobatos. Xenobatos? It was one of the most prosperous cities of the ancient Winglies. It's over there? <laughs> no. If my memory is correct, over there should be Fort Magrad. But Velweb is up there. Let's go back, quickly. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go back. Alright, so what screen does this lead to? Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna get to some of those chests that we just passed earlier. At least I should be able to. Oh, here's a new enemy! Looks like a pallet swap of the skeletons we fought on the ship. Mr. Bone! This thing's name is Mr. Bone. Meru is not going to be attacking because she needs HP. Everyone else seems to be doing just fine. Oh, wow, despite guarding, she still took a little bit of a nasty beating. It is gratifying to drop kick a skeleton, I must say. Oh, I guess these enemies are the ones with the decent, uh, evasion. Every area has to have at least one of those. And fast rate of attack, unfortunately. Dodging two attacks in a row. Not liking this. 
Three attacks in a row. Okay, I'm targeting the other one. Because that's a little ridiculous. To have missed three times on the same dude. It was that simple, really. <laughs> At least Hashel's dodging, too. Oh! You know what? I hit both buttons. <laughs> and it was not a good idea. It was just a reflex. Alright, so I think I gotta go down the slide again to get the other item. Unfortunate, but it's gotta be done. Yeah, it's this chest that we saw earlier. A burning wave! And here we got a gushing magma! Okay, inventory's filling up with battle items again. Magic shield's gonna be a little bit harder for inventory management too, because that's another reusable item. Giving Meru a, a bit of a break still. Oh, here we go again. Windy Weasels are dodging everything. They are the absolute worst. At least I can one-shot these guys. Thanks to Dart. Start putting in some work, as always. Oh, why'd I hit circle? I'm always anticipating a counter and it never happens, and I'm not anticipating it and it happens. Hashel's addition is Murphy's Law. I just want her to have a little bit more HP to survive another snowball fight. At least 1,200, apparently. There, that's better. Alright, so is that the only tre last the treasures for this place? Yes. And unfortunately, I gotta go all the way back up again. We. Actually, I think there's two points of the slide. Yeah, right here. Alright, so I'm gonna go down this slide again. From this side. There we go. And we got a dancer's ring. I assume that would go to someone like Meru. If I were to jump to conclusions here. And I think it's gonna be an accessory. Dancer's ring. Increases agility by 20 points. Uh, as good as that is, and would make her even faster. I should stick with the physical ring to keep her HP at a decent level. So, unfortunately, I have to go all the way back up again. I wonder what happens if you just hit X right there. Would you have a safer landing? Anyway, let's just head back up. Ah, oh, there we go. We finally made it back from the slide. So we can go this way. That's a big mountain over there. I hope we don't have to climb it. Alright, this must be Velweb right here. You can tell because it says capital Velweb. Alright, let me just save right here because I haven't done that. In fact, there was no save point in the snowfield itself. I 
be a good idea to take care of that. Also, let's take a look at the addition progress. Oh jeez, it's really close to being maxed out. Hashel's at level 4 with that. 350% damage. Meru needs 11 more uses. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, I know she's used it 69 times. Don't bother to point that out. I'd like to think we're above this. Oh, who am I kidding? We're not. <laughs> Here we are at the capital city, Velweb. The Seven Towers! Is Diaz waiting for us somewhere in there? That is the D Tower of the Seven Dragoons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath there. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it is an abominable place as well. You think too much. It's the same as Kadesa, isn't it? When you drag the past around, you cannot walk anywhere. It is true, Meru. The forbidden land that was the royal capital of the Winglies. And this Velweb is a mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. What an awkward bit of dialogue there. They're actually playing the same music from inside the Black Castle. So you can tell it's a very important place. So large, too. Why are rocks floating? I don't think that's what our rocks are supposed to do. Also, why are we fighting, like, a vampire? Oh, that's a succubus. Never mind. Spring Hitler! A pitter! Oh, God, that... That's a bad Freudian slip right there. Uh, let's go after the succubus first. Why does the succubus look like the lead character in Knights? Okay, so spring hitters are basically just steam robots. Kind of reminds me of the Dwemer machines in Skyrim. Man, I used to have Skyrim, but it glitches out so badly on PS3 that I had to sell it. I sold it for like 10 bucks. But apparently they're re-releasing Skyrim again on the Switch. Can't wait for Minecraft Skyrim Edition. <laughs> Am I right? Kill two birds with one stone? Why is Amareth from Final Fantasy IX here? Apparently his name is Maximum Volt. Now he should be Maximum Dead. Never mind! He survived that. There, that's better. I like my enemies dead. He's like, he's like he got boxing gloves. Do you really think that's gonna work on me? In fact, you missed. Even though I'm holding my metal sword straight up in the air. Well, speaking of missing, <laughs> at least he still died. That's all that matters. You're gonna be tired of seeing Meru and Hashel together for a while. But I mean, look at it this way. I do have to get these additions up. Oh, that's how you get in there. I was trying to, and I just wouldn't work for a while, and now it does. See some vendors too. I wonder if I can reach him from the next screen. 
Yeah, it looks like I just gotta go down this ramp. Well, it look, looks like for the most part, Velweb is wheelchair accessible. For the most part, because I do see stairs. And witches. Look at that hair! It's like a... You know, like them judges you see? With like the frilly hair and stuff? I like that. It's so wavy. Alright, let's keep going. I say we'll keep going until we find a save point inside the city. Hi. Brother! There are no customers here! Um, I'm not doubting your word, though. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers. Even in this kind of place. Okay. I believe you, brother. You're right, brother. There are really customers. It's all due to the skills of my pageant merchant soul. You have to learn from this. I sell weapons. And I sell items. We are peddlers. It must be fated that we would meet here. Why don't you take this chance to buy something? Let me thank you in advance. Okay, give me a discount. Preferably on weapons and armor. Just give me whatever you got for free, okay? Well, luckily I already have a heavy mace. But I don't have a partisan. Hold on. No, I don't have a partisan. Well, I guess I have no reason to keep this Falcon. Or this Warhammer. So there, I just got myself some extra money. So I will buy this Partisan, and I will equip it. Congo already has this. Hashel already has this. Giganto Ring raises physical attack and defense power. By 20 points each, it looks like. So I'll buy one, but I'm not going to change my equipment just yet. Segundo and Cuarto have a business somewhere else. If you find them, please buy something from them. No. Because what they have is pretty much obsolete now. Elude Cloak. Don't think I need to worry about evasion that much. So, where's that Giganto Ring? You know what? I'll give it to Hashel. Now we can continue. Start. Look at that huge battery! Humans shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the Tower of Flanville. And back then, humans thought this way. That the arrow would not only shear the darkness that covers the Earth, but also shear their corrupted hearts which were accustomed to being ruled. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? Because I wanted to show you something, jeez. I don't know. I still cannot tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I'm speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. You're weird. We're gonna go this way. Okay, I think I see the save point over there. Oh! What's going on? Shirley? I have been waiting for you! You are Shirley? Why? Why are you here? You ascended to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of in, in here, Velweb. I had something I had to take care of in here, Velweb. Could they not see that the words need to be in a different order? How about I had something I had to take care of here in Velweb? 
Oh, that's a ma massive transposition error. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about... Yes! The four souls of the Dragoons who lost their lives during the Dragon Campaign. Their souls were drawn to Mayfill. The Gate of the Inferno, from which you can never return, is requesting the souls of the Dragoons. The Dead City Mayfill? I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how, but it is true that the Gate of the Inferno is open. <coughs> Rose. I made their souls inert and anchor them in this place. But there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. The souls of the Dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else now. Let's go find Diaz. So, essentially, uh, surely hinted at a side quest. Which we'll have to wait. But for now, I think this would be a good time to end the episode before we even go further in, uh, Bellweb. So, in the next episode, why don't we go, uh, take care of that? See you later, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.